waka 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 what's up and welcome back to the channel for yet another fc finch review and yeah we're gonna get one more out of the way this week before uh, i go on a, a a very teeny tiny uh trip for a few days uh but again i did want to get this out here and uh yeah today we're doing a discovery ship that is right a ship from star trek discovery one of the only star trek discovery ships i have and of course it's a uh a reimagining of uh a classic ship we're gonna be taking a look at the Klingon D7 battle cruiser as seen in season two of Star Trek Discovery. Now, now I, I got to get this out because it, again, you know, they, 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 I, I know there's there's always you know do, do, there's there's the clash between the fandom and all this. Um, uh, it, the only reason I don't have a lot of Discovery ships is just because, uh, as you'll see, they're all like this damn big, and uh, I really don't have room uh, for that. I got nothing against Discovery, even though I'm not crazy about a lot of their Klingon ships except for this one um but be, beyond that i really don't have anything against it i actually like a lot of their federation designs i just do not have the room same reason i don't collect picard and same reason i limited the stuff i bought off lower decks i, I love it but it's like i got no rooms for it uh but either way we are going to be taking a look at this ship today and of course we'll take a look at the packaging so of course we have star trek discovery and again eagle moss packaging for the discovery collection um a lot uh, a lot nicer you got the nice uh ship product shop right on the front here Klingon symbol done in gray then of course you have the discovery um off to the right hand side Klingon d7 battle cruiser eagle moss hero collector and then of course star trek discovery the official starships collection and there we have a nice frontal shot a different product shot of the uh Klingon battle cruiser star trek discovery and uh, then we have star trek discovery and of course you do have the discovery uh up here before it's uh it's 1031a refit and then all kinds of legal stuff in the UPC on the back. So there it is for the box. So let us pop this open because because you know we, we always take a look at the magazine first and uh yeah this is uh the discovery collections where they started uh with the uh, pocket magazine so of course we have star trek discovery on there done in a very star trek discovery-ish font uh klingon d7 battle cruiser it is a warship launched in 2257 at a length of 503.53 meters which i believe is actually upscaled um from um, uh, what it should be uh, again we're not going to get into scaling here because uh e e either way either way and then we have a nice shot of uh several d7s in formation um flying across the galaxy looks really really good and uh, of course we have 26 done in a very weird uh format but hey it is what it is and there we go there we have uh star trek discovery we have profile d7 battle cruiser designing the ship and then of course our stand instructions as well a nice orthographic side shot of the warship launched in 2257 a length of 503 meters and then of course some nice uh up close and personal shots of uh the boom the uh impulse the engine section and of course the bottom of, of the ship and then, of course, you have some nice orthographic views, as usual, of the D7 a la Discovery looking really, really good. And, yeah, and then we, of course, we have some shots designing the Klingon D7. Concept artist Ryan Denning and Scott Schneider work together to bring the classic Klingon battlecruiser into the Discovery era. And, of course, we have the holographic image from the episode uh, that we first see. I forget. I think it was, like, uh, episode two or three um of uh, season two and then of course we have a nice animation of the d7 and then of course moving in we can see a few more anime shots we can see so uh, we can see the original d7 concept and its evolution into uh how it became the discovery uh variant and then of course we have some nice uh bottom shots of the ship some shots from uh discovery itself and then of course we have some again more screenshots of the Klingon battle cruiser and then there we go more discovery ships right there the uss zimmerman tug from season two and then of course a nice upward shot of the discovery d7 on the back 
So let's pull this out here. And uh, yeah, this is actually, we're just unboxing what I put back in the box just for this review. Uh, it's due to my uh, new set, new uh, place and new setup. I actually have uh, had the ability to um, uh, it, it put this on display, uh, which I'll be showing my display off well, when I do my collection recap coming up here in early June. And of course, we have our display base right here. This is just like, oh, I don't see too much of the ship. And uh, just like all the typical eagle moss you have uh the stand post here and uh, it goes in it's all uh, pretty sturdy i mean again it's not gonna it's it's not loose or anything you got to give it a good tug to pull it out and uh again we're gonna bring that down because now i'm going to get the uh d7 out We'll move the box off to the side. I know you can see the shadow. It looks all ominous and goofy. And uh, here we have the D7. And, of course, that stand, you're just going to put it right on the uh, outer wings just like that. And uh, there you have the D7 in its display stand. And without further ado, let's get down to taking a look at the D7. Seven and uh, yeah, you know, so um, a, a, again, um, you know, I don't collect the discovery ships just because, um, again, th they're all this big. Uh, I mean, and this this thing is, uh, let's see, hold on, hold on, this thing is about oh, we're almost uh, almost uh, eight and a half inches in length, um, and, and it's just unfortunately just uh, something I don't have the room for. And uh, but I, you know, I did make exception. I at least do want to get a hero ship, the Discovery, and I did of course want to get this ship because I absolutely love how this thing turned out. And again, you can feel a lot of the weight uh, in back here. A lot of this, I, a lot of this frame um, is uh, is steel back here. So again, very heavyweight, um, which kind of makes up because the boom, it's a bit heavier plastic and towards the end it kind of feels uh, a little bit on the lighter side but again you got this nice green coloration i really love the green coloration i mean it gives just kind of more dimension do just uh, as opposed to the dull uh gray that we're used to seeing the old d7 as i think you see these uh you can see the the aztec and all designs kind of etched in. it almost looks like they were sketched in it looks really it's a really nice effect that they have going you can just see like the different shades of green again it looks like somebody just kind of sketched all these in but you can feel them there there's indentations there and it feels really really good again you got some nice detailing along the sp uh, the spine of the boom looks really good and then you got some ridges right here um and you could just see how this follows the general profile of the D7. They didn't go crazy with this. Um, they like and, and uh, not as crazy as they did in the JJ um, Abrams films. I um, mean, they, they just kept it kept it. They just like polished. But polished what they already had. And again, you got some nice forward windows hanging, nice little vent right here. Feels really, really good. Some nice red detailing. I believe that is a, oh, that's a very, very, it looks like a very, very tiny clan symbol right up front. That is a nice touch. And of course, you got the black for the uh, tor for the uh, disruptor tube right there. And then of course, you have uh, window detailing all along the side of the boom there. Looks really good. And then you got, of course, some white detail across the back end here looks really good and then of course some uh paneling again really nice feast as we come to the bottom again more of that uh more of that panel detailing and then you could just kind of see it's got that sketch look the different shades of green in between the panels looks really good i love how the klingon symbol is done just got this nice black uh with a with a red surrounding it looks really really good it's really excellent and of course you got like uh it looks like a right here on the nacelle pylons looks really good uh nacelle is also an interesting design it's like they kind of took uh what they already had and just kind of gave it some more angles and dimension. you can see they added a, whole, a lot of nice molded detail here looks really good and then of course for your coil area they painted that a uh, lighter green again nothing too bright no transparent plastic on here um just again real a lot of nice added detail a, a lot of a lot more framing and dimension versus just the uh the simple um uh, rectangular shape that we have seen in the past and then of course if we come to the back we can see some nice uh it's looking like is this uh 
no, it doesn't. It doesn't look painted, uh, but it looks very good. It's like kind of uh, a, a deep, uh, a very light red um, with gray accents in back, and of course, all this outlined in black. It just looks really, really good. Kind of looks like a subtle uh, engine burst. Then, of course, you have the Klingon symbol done really nice on the back of the impulse thrust. It looks really good. It's you know black with red outline. Um, again, just really superb detail, guys. I love the green. Uh, just really nice, really menacing um, look. Really brings out the ship. And for a quick comparison, let's bring it out of the stand. So we need a ton of room. And there it is next to the... Uh, the Katinga XL again just really really good looking I'm going to try to get them all in frame because they are really two big ships but again you could just see how they really just took this standard design just kind of added to it it looks really really good let's get them from the side and again there we go now we can kind of get them both in and again you could just see how they both again following you it's, it's, it's the shape that we already know and again lots of the angles and lines still the same until we get down to the nacelle area Area. But even uh, in the nacelle pylons, you could see like that you got like kind of the venting shape, but they did the same thing, a uh, venting shape on the Discovery version. So this looks really, really good. And uh, let's get them both from the front. And yeah, that is just too cool. Hold on, let me get ah, just too cool again. That similar frontal profile um, for both these ships again just looks really, really good. Um, uh, yeah, no, they, absolutely superb. Um, as far as I'm concerned, looks I mean, looks like a duck, quacks like a duck. So let's summarize, and there we have it for the Eagle Moss Hero Collector Star Trek official star sets collection klingon d7 as seen in star trek discovery and uh yeah um uh, again really really well done ship i absolutely love this reimagining of the klingon d7 uh, i i think they did a really solid job on it and eagle moss just killed it with the model again got some really nice weight nice use of coloring uh, again and then they didn't go too overboard with it it looks just as menacing uh, as it's kin from the uh, motion picture era. Again, just looks really, really good. A unmistakable uh, Klingon, uh, unmistakable Klingon warship. Uh, and again, they, they just took the design, gave it some polish, gave it some added details, and boom, that was it. And uh, yeah, they, they went as far as they need to, and I think it absolutely is stunning. And I think that Eagle Moss killed it with the model. Um, again, just looks really, really good. And the cool part is, is that I really think that this ship fits in in with your uh if, if you have tmp or uh or uh, uh next generation uh era klingon ships i think this fits in perfectly and that's exactly how i have my collection uh set up now that being said if you do want a copy of this ship i don't see it on real merch and i'm not sure how many they have in stock um uh, again i grabbed the ship just because i mean i i, I you know it, it, it looks it, it shares a general uh in common uh, flavor uh, with its uh, brothers from the motion picture. Um, so again, I haven't seen it on Real Merch. Uh, I'm not sure where to get it. I will put a link in the description to Real Merch anyway, so you can get yourself some other Klingon ships. Um and go from there. Uh, but yeah, if you have a chance to pick up this model for a reasonable price, I highly recommend it, even if you don't collect the Discovery line of ships from Eagle Moss. And that being said, that does conclude this review. If you like this review, give, if you like this review, excuse me, talk slower, Finch, uh, give this, uh, give this video a like and consider subscribing to the channel. I do review other Eagle Moss ships. Uh, I try to review them at least once, maybe twice a week. So feel free to check those out. I'll put a link in the description to the playlist down below. And that being said, I have been FC Finch. Thank you so much for watching. Live long and prosper.